Floriste has decided to get all the rest she can ahead of becoming a mom. The Strictly, It Takes Two presenter, 36, announced that she is expecting her first child with a sweet post on New Year's Day. She took to her Instagram to share her exciting news with her followers as she admitted, 2024 is gonna be different. The former X Factor star shared a snap of herself cradling her growing baby bump. Fleur is pregnant with her first child and doesn't reveal when her baby is due. However, the TV presenter has made sure she savors all the quiet moments she can get. She took to her Instagram after announcing her pregnancy to share an update with her fans. The former Strictly Come Dancing star posted a photo of her relaxing by a gorgeous pool surrounded by palm trees. Alongside the scenic snap, Fleur wrote, getting in all the chill time I can. Fleur had kept her pregnancy a secret through clever wardrobe choices on her Strictly, It Takes Two show. However, when announcing her happy news many fans were convinced they had suspicions. I knew it. Baggy blazers on It Takes Two covered it well. Congratulations, one fan commented underneath Fleur announcement on Monday, with another adding, you are gonna be the best mum. Congratulations my fave I'm so happy for you. A third quipped, huge congratulations. I did wonder when some of your outfits on It Takes Two were baggy 20. Fleur is set to welcome her first child into the world with her husband, French fashion designer Marcel Badian Robin. The parents to be first met in a bar in 2009 where Marcel was working as a waiter. The pair reconnected a year later and tied the knot in Morocco in 2019. The pregnant star, who competed on Strictly in 2022, previously shared she wanted to start a family after the tragic loss of her father. Fleur sadly lost her father Malcolm in 2020 when he died after suffering a heart attack. Speaking in October 2022, Fleur admitted her dad's passing had made her more eager to welcome children into the world. Fleur said, I appreciate things more. It's interesting because before I was like, I'll take it as it comes, I'm not in a rush, we've got time. But as soon as you lose someone, you're like wow. Okay. You can't really plan for anything, nothing's promised. She went on to tell the Daily Mail, so it's changed my views on that definitely. I'm a bit more open to the idea of starting a family now. I'm still not planning it, but I'm not waiting and saying, it'll start in a year or anything like that. We are just letting things happen naturally now. She also expressed how thankful she was for her wedding in 2019, especially since losing her father. It made their moments together, like him walking her down the aisle, even more special. She shared with hello, gosh, we're so grateful. He got to walk me up the aisle and we have all those amazing memories as a family, not just as a couple, so that's been comforting. The feelings still come in waves I see something and it reminds me and I get upset. Then I'll see something that makes me smile, so it's ups and downs. Follow Mirror Celebs on Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Facebook, YouTube and Threads.